the water aspect of the earth too and the atmosphere that we are in at the same time so when we look at this science now and we see the positive and the negative so fire is considered masculine and the water is considered feminine and of course the water again represents the woman as we know which is very 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 important so we're dealing with the spirit and the physical this is very deep the spirit and the physical obviously both man and woman have physical and spirit it's just natural but yet they, and they both have fire and water too but the woman has a specific connection with the water the man obviously does too because he's made 70 percent of water but his nature has a specific connection with the fire it's just natural he's both positive and negative but he's a positive being she's both positive and negative but she's a negative being follow me good we're dealing with polarity and it's very important and necessary so when they become one they become that super being yeah, and that becoming say, one is a very powerful give thanks to the life good and and life given the keeper of life Hey, I was just, um, uh, let me hear what I'm saying here. And happy, although described as he many times, happy is both male and female. Listen, uh, I was just going through the lecture for this evening just a moment ago, Rastafari and the woman, just giving you a little clarity there. And um, I decided, let me just share this with the audience there on the youtube and on the facebook we just just completed uh just was looking through it uh, was a very nice presentation i must say and um, just letting you know since i was going through it that it is There's several it is still available for you it is still on the 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 platform the the webinar platform you could still go to the webinar platform and watch this lecture. Um, so I would advise if you still want to get it, the process is still the same. You could email us, you can contact us, you could make the same payments through the Cash App. You haven't lost your chance. You could still see it. It's just that it's not going to be live. You wouldn't be able to ask the questions and I answer you in real time and that sort of stuff and, you know, converse with the chat, whatever. But you could definitely um still watch it so you could just email us or you could still just make the payment um on the cash app which is a t o n r a 27 23 i'm going to put it in the description below just make your payment on the cash app and we will send you the link right away if it's tonight whenever right away and you can just go press the link and it carries you straight to this lecture and full joy two hours as you could see very, very upful. This was Rastafari and the woman. Rastafari and the woman. We just did it a moment ago. You know, blessed coronation at the same time. Rastafari and the woman. Very nice. I mean, I, I went a little off script, but that's how it goes. It, it brought me to a next level, to be very honest. You know, as we, as we just worked with the spirit. And I must say, the audience was very, very nice. Let me just give you a little more of it. Eh? That is our... Uh... Uh, of the netter in Kemet that is seen as both male and female at the same time. Nun is one of these um, deities as well, or the netter that you see as both male and female. So happy is the god of the river Nile. And this is why these specific figures would be seen with breasts as the nourishing mother. The same thing can be said of the great Akhenaten and a and, uh, statue that is seen of Semenkare, uh, both male figures with breast like you know, protrusions as, as a mother figure as well. Even Moses in the Bible says something similar to that. When he was upset with Israel and talking to the Lord, Moses said, you know, it was it me that bore these, uh, were, was it me that labored to bore them? Did I give them suck on my paps like a mother? I said, wow, just deep vibes, you know. Even the Lord mentions that, even in um, Isaiah. So that science of the, 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 the God with the breasts is a deep thing. 
and it's symbolic of the unification of both male and female. Let me show it to you right now. This is this is the nun. Now let's get this straight. The nun. It's the nun, the nu, and naunet. Sometimes you may not see it like that in some of the the presentations there. But the nun, the nu, and the naunet. So let me read this for you. The nun. According to the theology of the Ogdoad, the universe was formed from the interaction of eight elements, listen to this good, instigated by one of a number of possible gods, including Thoth, Amun, Horus, and Ra. Water, nothingness, or invisibility, darkness, and infinity. Water was represented by Nun, Nu, male form, and now net female form. It says, the, although the Egyptians have many different creation myths, they all agree that the universe literally means the water, the, the, the Mariam, the Mariam from the Old Testament, the, the, the Mariam, yeah? not to kill her for in doing so. Now, you see, very amount of male and graduate this amount of female and get the he and they are seen as a she his consort um with the ganja above her head that is she shot you know the the mother of wisdom so i'm using that coming from of course proverbs 8 going into the the state of wisdom herself you know who was there when the lord because tahuti eh, Tahuti is a very outstanding figure. Yeah, you can talk about Ra and the Nun. Who else we were chopping down there? Pata. All of them seem to be the first God. But but Tahuti now, or Jahuti, has this specific space, you know, where he's considered the, the, the head of the, the Atlantean civilization. And when Atlantis sunk, that is why he's credited with the Emerald Tablet that is said to, you know what I mean, how much thousands of thousands of thousands of years ago officially and tahuti now is seen like the individual himself that came and and brought down the soot from the upper lands to form the land known as kemet so he's seen that on some different ranks so even when wisdom is being is said in proverbs that she was there before he formed the land and before he brought down the river it is shishat because she is the mother of wisdom and Tahuti is the creator God, the God that wrote all things, the father of mathematics and geometry. He is the one with the compass and the square, you know, that put it into the depths and, and measured the earth and measured the depths and measured the waters underneath the earth. Yeah, Tahuti is known for that. And you can see the reigning couple there, you know, male and female. So even biblically, again, I think it is clear that there is a male and female aspect of creation. And, you know, again, let, before we move on, let me just be clear here, even our Afrocentricity, in our African tradition, this is how we speak of creation. You know, when, we, when you hear us speak of the gods, for example, um, um, what, what's, what's our father's name there? Amun-Ra. Amun-Ra had, um, Amunra and Mut, Amunra and his wife Mut had had Tef, Tefnut, Shu and Tefnut. One is man and one is woman. That's how we draw them. But they represent, if I'm not mistaken, moisture and air. You know, um, yes, moisture and air. These are elements as such, and you know, the atmosphere and everything. That's creation. You know, so in a sense, the story is not about a man and a woman, really. But but the concept of the man and the woman is used to express, obviously, one is masculine and one is feminine, one is positive, one is negative. So it's the same thing here. So when wisdom says she saw, when he created and he created, it's elements. Doesn't necessarily mean there was a man floating through space, making the earth like, you know, in his hand like a 
My brothers and sisters, yes, as I said, I was just giving you a little touch. Of course, the, the, the documentary is still there, the lecture really, it's still there, that you could go straight to the, our, our, pardon me, yes, you could just go straight, not go straight, you'd have to contact us. You still have an opportunity to see it. Yes, when you get the link from us, it goes straight to the webinar site and the lecture already being done, you could just look and you watch it one time. That without is any expressed comment. from her reproduction system. It's natural. You know, she has a natural smell too. Not a smell, smell in the wear now itself. Uh, the cotton underwear is more friendly to the sacred spot. The cotton underwear, the expression that you see here, you know, that's a very serious stuff. This is some um, um, photos of the aura of the vulva of, of, of the woman expressed in art form. And as I said, my brothers and sisters, we really go on a different level on this conversation here. This is something that I know you will definitely full joy sitting with your family. As I said, the lecture, as you could see, went some two hours in length and um, give thanks for the interaction of those that were in the audience. And of course, you could still contact us. You could, all you have to do is to check us via the Cash App. You could make your payments via the Cash App um, at Tonora, A T O N R A 2723, and contact us via email and let us know the link. My brothers and sisters, I mean, I don't, I can't tell you at the moment exactly how long the video will be up. So you could check it as quick as you can. Trust me, it's a, it's a wonderful watch. I definitely full enjoyed it, and I'm going to continue watching it um, throughout this evening. So give thanks again. You know, of course, I will see you in, in the near future. For those of you who are going to link us in the shock of the hour tomorrow evening, looking forward to your presence. Holy Manuel I, Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari, blessed love. Give thanks. Go and check it, man. You can still watch it. It's up for you. Nice.